Hi there, Ruben here for Native Instruments and in this track breakdown I'm going to be using contact vocal libraries to score a short piece of footage. Here's a quick clip, I'll play the cue in full at the end of the video. The libraries I'll be using are a range from SoundIron, including Mimi Page, Light and Shadow, Voice of Wind AD, Voices of Gaia, Voices of Rapture and Requiem Light Symphonic Choir. I'll also be utilising Genesis Children's Choir from Audiobro, Mosaic Voices from Heaviosity and two Cine Samples Choirs, Voxos Epic Choirs and Voices of War Men of the North. You're probably already thinking that's way too many choirs and normally I'd agree as you probably only need one or two to get the job done in most compositions. However, this piece is going to be a bit different, as I'll be taking some of the more subtle elements from each library and combining them into a melancholy cue that matches the grand yet bleak nature of the footage. From the vocal libraries, I've chosen vocal effects, breaths, light ensembles, rhythmic beds, children's choirs and solo performances. There are also a couple of other instruments here, but I'll cover those as we go. Firstly, a note about how I usually score to picture. If the piece I'm writing is intended to be at a consistent tempo, I'll attempt to line up the footage with my door session so that some of the important moments and cuts are on the downbeats. Often I'll have to adjust the tempo throughout the piece to achieve this, but this time I got lucky and many moments fall on the downbeats of 130 BPM. The next step is to use markers in the door, in this case logic, to indicate where I need musical changes to happen. That could be as subtle as a transition effect or something stronger, such as a change of key or pacing. In the case of this video clip, I want a dramatic change of tone in the middle section, where the footage cuts to sky and then pans up through the trees, with an increase in intensity on the shot of the first waterfall. I also need a couple of signature sounds for the shots of the grass and the bird, so I'll try to bear those moments in mind as I create the score. The first track I'm laying down is a light motif using mosaic voices from Heaviosity. This library features a wealth of synthetic and organic voice samples and 130 snapshot presets covering everything from rhythmic beds to playable lead vocals. It's more of a creative tool rather than a straight up vocal library and uses the mosaic engine to morph between the three vocal layers and multiple effects with automation and macro controls. The hybrid preset Shortness of Breath has the kind of short sound that I'm looking for and I've swapped out the onboard reverb for Space Hall and automated the low pass filter cutoff throughout the sequence to bring the instrument in slowly throughout the piece. This line has been doubled up using Native Instruments Una Corda. one of the pure presets with pedal noise turned way down. Also combine some of the softest mallet hits in mallet flux, spreading them across the octaves and adding a large hall reverb. I play with the velocity levels of these three different libraries quite a lot during the piece, dropping elements in and out so that the three layers weave around one another as the cue progresses.
Sticking with Mosaic Voices, there are some fantastic gated morphed vocal presets. I've chosen this one and used the onboard browser to choose different vocal sounds. Using the engine, I've switched on the drive and space to automate whilst the chord plays. Again, I've changed the reverb space and linked the filter cutoff to the mod wheel so that I can play in changes live, blending the sound in and out of the track. It's almost the same story with a third track using Mosaic Voices. This time automating the gating, filter and space parameters to a variety of note divisions so that they kind of bounce off one another. The last track featuring the same library is a little motif using a preset from the playables menu. The notes progressing down the chord are there to represent the cascading water of the waterfall. It's a little bit obvious Mickey Mousing, but I think I can just about get away with it in this context. Let's talk about the bass line, which comes in low when we cut to the Raging River. Although it sounds like a deep synth, it's actually from Men of the North, using one of the morphed FX presets, Trailer Bass. I've adjusted it by reducing the attack and release times, and assigning my mod wheel to the saturation control in the Mixer FX panel. This means that during the cue I can add harmonics to the sound, pushing it slightly forward in the mix by using the mod wheel. During the second part of the track, I need the bass line to take on a more rhythmic quality, so I've used a plugin which is one of my favourites, Kilo Hearts Transcate. It's a super simple tempo synced volume shaper, and I've automated the mix knob so that the gating is introduced during the dramatic panning shot of the trees. Just before that section is a distinctly sparse part where I want some indistinct whispered sounds. The whisper words patch from Men of the North is perfect for this as I can ride the mod wheel to increase the intensity. Let's get to some of the more naturalistic choir sounds now. Genesis Children's Choir from Audio Bro is one of my favourite choirs of all time. The legatos are extremely realistic and crossfading between dynamic layers is very smooth. You can make it sing complex phrases with the syllable player, or it can be used for more traditional oohs and ahs. The mix and placement of soprano and alto girls and boys can be set up in the ensemble tab, and there are four mixable mic options just here. I'm using this library quite simply for a sung R riser chord here. Later on in the track, I'm using a single refrain sung by the whole choir as backing vocals for my soloist, which is Strawberry from Voices of Gaia. <laughs> Genesis also has some great morphed sounds. In this case, I've layered a couple, which I've used to double the riser and give some air to the middle section. Sydney Samples Voxos is next up. This library is subtitled Epic Virtual Choir, but it actually has a wide range of patch styles and is suitable for quite a lot of different genres. 
There's a phrase builder, Divisi legato sections, pre-rendered chords and octaves, soloists and unusual effects, and they've all got five different microphone mixing options. I'll use it sparingly here to punctuate a few moments during the final section of the cue and give some extra weight to the low end. I've programmed a few interesting syllables using the phrase builder and played in the male choir part with high velocity triggering sustains and low velocity for staccatos. Because the male and female sections are mapped separately up the keyboard, it's simply a case of duplicating some of the MIDI up a couple of octaves to have the female singers join in the fun. I found that the default Voxos setup sits very nicely in a mix so I don't even need to add reverb or play with the EQ settings, it just works. For a few years now, Soundiron's Requiem Light Choir has been a favourite option for bread and butter choir patches. You can call up the whole ensemble of male and female singers, or divide them into Divisi sections. There are also a couple of soloists and lots of effects. Twice I've used one of the choral riser samples to beef up what the children's choir is already doing. This is during the transition to the sky and again towards the end. Having lots of voices and instruments performing similar crescendi simultaneously really helps to amp up the intensity of the piece. I've also utilised some of the great voice effect samples as accents to highlight moments on screen, such as the grass and the bird. They're actually pretty simple samples. The first is a hushed breath and the second a whispered word. Pitching these samples down and washing them out completely with reverb transforms them into organic sweeps. Because these higher frequency sounds are played against a relatively muted low and mid-range backing, they really do stand out, drawing attention to these specific shots. I really want to create some organic drum sounds, so here body percussion from Requiem Light makes up some of the rhythmic parts of the track. These sounds have been heavily processed with tape saturation and distortion within the onboard effects rack. Let's look at some of the embellishments now. Small effects throughout the track are important to the overall flow and they also add interest for the listener. Mimi Page Light and Shadow has so many different types of vocal sounds, from sung phrases to ambiences. I've used the Etherall Dreamscapes patch and used the layering engine to combine sounds, including an R sustain sung in a minor third. Adding delay and reverb in the effects rack makes the tail on this sound extra long. I've gone really overboard with the effects on the next track, using a sustained O sound from Voice of Wind 80, and running it through flanger, phaser, saturation, compression, reverb and delay. This creates a haunting yet kind of throttled sound for the beginning of the track. Breath samples from Voices of Rapture have been used on this next track, this time from the bass vocalist. It's always important to think about how effects fit into a cue, so I've pitched the breaths up slightly to fit the key of the track, and added lots of reverb. This next effect is quite unusual, it's actually a whistle sample from Voices of Rapture. 
The original sample is extremely dry, so I've had to add delay and reverb for ambience. It's also a pretty quiet sample with a lot of low end rumble, so I've EQ'd that away and also targeted the frequency of the second note, which was sounding quite harsh. One last weird effect, I've filtered, amped and added a rotator effect to the tenor ambience from Voices of Rapture. Again I've used Kilo Heart's Trance Gate to add rhythm and also Native Instruments Replica Delay effect to push it around the stereo field after processing. Coming on to the solo vocals, and these are relatively simple to program. They're all featuring the phrases from Strawberry in the Voices of Gaia library. Oh, yeah. In this engine, phrases are assigned to keys with adjustable timing, start points, and a variety of other parameters, including a tempo synced playback mode. I've chosen phrases in the same key as the track and added compression, reverb, and delay so that they sit nicely. So that's it for the vocals and vocal effects. Yes, there are a lot of tracks, but some have only one or two effects, so as not to overwhelm the relatively delicate mix. <laughs> Lastly, I'll talk about the strings and additional percussion. Strings are from Native Instruments Symphony Essentials. Low pizzicato plays alongside the bass line at the beginning of the track. Switching to tremolo for the tree shot. And then spiccato during the climax of the cue. This is easily achieved on just one MIDI track using key switches to change articulations. Making sure to trigger the strings slightly ahead of the beat so the attack portion of the notes is in the right place. I've tweaked the sound of the strings a little with onboard EQ, reverb and compression. The small percussion and hi-hats are actually loops from Native Instruments expansion Halcyon Sky. They're originally recorded at 72 BPM but I've squashed them up here to fit the tempo of the cue. For the small percussion, I've used the deep answer preset in Replica to add some weight and interest, as the delayed sound is diffused and filtered. The hi-hats are pretty much straight out of the box, just there to push the track along in the right direction. Some very light mastering is covered by Isotope's Ozone, as it's a useful one-stop solution to get a good idea of what a professional mastering job will sound like. Hopefully that's given a small insight into my composition process. You can find out more about these libraries in the video description. Here's the track in full, showing the MIDI.
And lastly, for those who'd like to see the visuals in context, here's the master track with full screen footage. Thanks so much for watching.